His face got very serious and he just went, Peter, if you're going to be a hero, be a real hero. Don't be one of those Hollywood pretenders. Don't go yelling and screaming and pretending you're a tough guy. Be strong enough to be gentle. And that hung in my brain. I'm driving to the audition when I get there and I look at the page and it says, I am up to this prime leader of the cyber term, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> and I just, Peter Cullen, take one. And I said, okay, I said, oh God. And I said, wow. But I just did it in his voice, just saying, my name is Optimus Prime from the planet Cybertron, leader of the Autobots. And that's back. And then I read the rest of it and said, thank you. And they said, thank you. Got in the station wagon. And three weeks later, I found out I got the job. Yeah. Alfonso, this is Optimus Prime. Transform and roll out. Thirty-nine years ago was the launch of the original Transformers Generation 1 animated series, inspired by the Hasbro Transformers toy line. By association, this was the debut of many voice acting legends in the making that would go on to do some of the most groundbreaking work for the brand and pioneer an entire generation of diverse continuities. Irrefutably, one of the most, if not the most legendary among them would be none other than Peter Claver Cullen. The 42-year-old Canadian actor got the role of a lifetime as he was casted to voice the heroic leader of the Autobots himself, Optimus Prime. Humans, without your help, the power of life would not have won this day. You have given us the most precious of gifts. You have given us hope. Goodbye for now. At the time, the franchise was not much more than the show itself, and the future was promising, yet still unclear. But this humble beginning led to the rise of a legend that would inspire the hearts and minds of millions of people around the world for decades. From the 2007 Transformers live-action film debut, to all of its following sequels directed by Michael Bay, to the accompanying video games for each respective film, to spin-off TV shows and additional projects like the hit series Transformers Prime, Transformers Rescue Bots, and Titans Return, and iconic video games like Transformers, War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, Devastation, and Transformers Universe, leading all the way to the newly rebooted live-action film franchise kick-started by the 2018 Bumblebee movie, directed by Travis Knight, and the most recent installment, Transformers Rise of the Beasts, directed by Stephen Cable Jr. That same Optimus Prime, powered by that same Peter Cullen, continued building a legacy that would be unprecedented in modern sci-fi entertainment. From 1984, to 2023 and counting this man has carried so much of the franchise on his shoulders and continues to service the fandom with grace and passion not to mention he is willfully choosing to remain fully invested in this journey at over 80 years of age a true testament that the resilient and vigorous prime within him is not just an act. We're going to prove who we are and why we're here. Roll out! Today is the 82nd birthday of this beloved legend. And as someone who has been deeply connected with his character, deeply inspired by his journey, and deeply grateful for his commitment, I chose to dedicate this special editorial video to him. Simply to say thank you we thank you for all that you've done, all that you do, and all that you are to this franchise and community. And on behalf of myself and the Alfonso Nation and many Transformers fans out there, we send our warmest wishes and highest cheers on your special day. You are truly one of the greatest gifts this brand has ever offered. 
in celebration and honor of his birthday. Please enjoy this exclusive, unreleased clip extracted from my interview with Rise of the Beasts director, Stephen Capel Jr., revealing the true extent of Mr. Cullen's dedication to this role, voicing Optimus Prime in that film. Small things like this typically go unseen and unknown to the public, as they're done behind the scenes. But in light of this special day and recent events, I felt the time was now to publicly acknowledge Mr. Cullen's unwavering faithfulness to this franchise. Enjoy. Good night. He killed it. Hey, hey, hey. Have you spoken to Peter Cullen yet? I interviewed him in 2021, but it wasn't for Rise of the Beasts. I would love to do Rise oh, of the Beasts. It was like a Galaxy Con, like a fan meet convention thing. Oh, that's thing. cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. That, cool. that one was very emotional because that's my hero, man. I, oh, um, man. Same. I don't know what it is, man. It's his presence, man. Like, uh, he's such a genuine dude. Like, yeah. so kind. Like, probably the kindest person I've ever met on planet Earth. Like, he is so sweet. And, um, yeah, man, I remember when I met him for the first time, we talked over the phone a few times it was during COVID. He was staying away from people because it was COVID and it was dangerous. And then finally we met in person. So all of our conversations have been over the phone. And he's old school a little bit. So, I mean, it's like phone, phone. It's no Zoom or FaceTime. <laughs> it's like proper phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's Yeah, yeah when like, I met him, he walked in the room and I'm like, oh, here goes Peter Cullen, man. And like gave him a huge hug and it was like warm from the jump. And then he got in that booth and delivered the first lines of the movie. Um, but man, I was like, whoa, I just felt it. And I looked over to like everybody in the room and they're like, yeah, that's that guy. Um, that's that guy. Yeah, I got to meet him in person at TFCon this year. So that was pretty huge, you know, and also the online interview. But like, I, I'm so glad you did that little clip where you, you know, you showed you and him walking out. Y'all were doing uh, the ADR. Oh, the oh yeah, that was his last day. Yeah. 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 And, you know, like you say, he's he's like, he's old school. So he doesn't have like social media and anything. So it's not like we can like follow up with how he's doing, but seeing him so happy behind the mm -hmm. scene, you know, that really, that really, man, the fans love that. I was so happy. Yeah. No, yeah, no, he's, he's good, healthy, strong. Um, but yeah, having him come throughout the studio, like he, he does, he does, he does all his voiceover work. So meaning, uh, sometimes you lay out like a temp track. So when the actors come in, they can go, okay, this is where my line goes. Right. And we skipped Optimus Prime. Like basically what I mean is we'll go, okay, before we bring in Ron Perlman or Michelle Yeoh, we'll have an assistant or another voice actor or somebody like that quickly just say the line for us so we can edit the movie. Right. This is the process. And then we come in and we go, Michelle, yo, this is where your line to start. It'll be a small temp line in there, you know, and it's like, but of course it doesn't have your cadence. So we could extend it. We could make it longer. We could do whatever. And that process can be very tedious when you're trying to like put the film together, you know, and Pete and Peter Cullen was like, I don't need anybody to do the temp. Like I would love to come in and do it myself. Um, and he was like, I, I so he, we never had anyone read an Optimus Prime line in Pro's production. Like it was always him that came in. And I'm like, Peter, man, we might we, we might change this next week. You know what I mean? If we need to adjust the line, like do you want to just wait until we can we drop it in to get the cut? And he's like, No, man, I'm here for it. Like he was so committed to Prime that he knew I was trying to take him in a new direction. And so like as we were like creating Prime, like the new Prime, right? We're like, how do we create a Prime where that doesn't understand humans, but you don't hate him, you know? Like he's the prime that we know. And that took a lot of practice and nuance. And like, he came in every time with the dedication of being like, I know what we're trying to do. I want to accomplish this because I think it's really cool that you get to see Prime become the guy who he is. But like, how do we navigate it? Like he, he just couldn't just read and deliver the lines like how he did before. And it, it, it was it was challenging. And he did, every, he did every single take. And I was like, man, like you could hire your assistant to come in here and just lay down the track. And then you come later on to do the finale. But he wanted to be part of the process. He's very hands-on, very yeah. hands-on. He's a legend, man, and 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 I'm so glad he's still doing it this far in, you know, to his career. That's that's incredible. Yeah, no, he's amazing, bro. What the hell are you doing? I'm going to take Vex Burgess Key and then take off his head. Unbelievable and inspiring how committed he was voicing Optimus Prime in Rise of the Beasts. And thank you to director Stephen Capel for sharing that bit of information after our interview. And once again, Mr. Cullen, if you ever see this video, the Transformers community loves and appreciates all that you've done 
and continue to do. Be sure to leave some love and support in the comment section to Mr. Cullen because he truly deserves it. Thanks for watching. Till all are one.